so hello guys now let us see this problem i can call collections dot name tuple so actually you will have to understand what is this or how to use this function called collections dot name tuple but you can understand while solving this problem as well so whatever the task and all is first of all let us take the input format so input format is n and after that we just have to you know take in the name tuple so let us say n first of all let us take n as the integer input okay and afterwards i have to take the name tuple so suppose i want to name the tuple as data so after that i'll just write named and for that actually i'll have to import the collections from it from the collection so i'll just write from collections i have to import named tuple okay i got it and afterwards what i have to do is i just have to write name tuple of what it will be data hold on data and afterwards i'll have to you know Write input dot split because I'm because I'm going to take them in spaces and all that's why I'll just write input dot split. Okay, now we got the name tuple. Now what we have to do is actually let's try to print out. Actually, we want to ac get access to the marks. So what you'll do is you'll write data, and inside this what you'll do is you'll write marks. Actually, not marks. You'll have to take in the input value. So I'll write star, and I'll tell you why I wrote star. Write input dot split because we are again taking the inputs and all. And after that, we want get we want the access of marks. So what you'll do is write dot marks and marks are in capital, I guess. I I'll, I'll just I'll have to check it once. So see, marks are in capital. So I just write uh, whatever I wrote after here. After this, I just have to write dot marks. And now run the let us run this bit of code now. Hold on, I'll just copy this whole thing. So I if I'll see if I get access to marks or no by writing this particular syntax. Okay, see so it printed out 97. That is this first mark. So I think it's right. And I'll tell you why. Why did I use a star now? So see, I actually have wrote this code. So suppose this is my particular list, and when I print out L normally, then it will print out the list. But when I print out star L, see what will it print? After print, right, printing star, L, it will print out this thing. So this is required to you know we use this to get access to the you know marks and all because we we are going to take them input take the inputs in spaces. That's why that is a list actually. So we are just printing this out. Now not printing, we are just using that star over here and dot marks to get access of marks. So by using this whole statement, what we did is we just got access to the first mark that is 97. So to get access to all the other marks, I'll have to use a for loop. So say for any i in range will be n because n inputs are there. And afterwards, hold on. I'll not print it. I'll have to actually. I'll have start a variable called sum equals to zero. And what I'll do is I'll just add in, add it into the sum now. So actually, let us print this out first so that we understand if we get all the marks. So see, ninety seven, fifty ninety one. Okay, we are getting all the marks. So I think it's fine. So I'll just what I'll do is I'll just write s plus equals to so that I'll get the addition of marks. I want the average, right? So I'll have to add the total marks. Okay, now this is one more thing that I forgot to tell you all. So I'll have to convert this into an integer because whenever we took the inputs uh, in the format of input dot split, it takes inputs in the form form of strings, and when we add them, we'll have to convert them into integers. That's why when I convert it, then it should work, I guess. Yeah, wow, it is working, but I didn't print it. So I'll print out s so that we understand. What's happening? Yeah, we got the total. Whatever it is, I don't know. So for average, we'll just have to you know divide it by n, and let us check it now. Seventy-eight point zero. I guess it is the right answer. I'll just see. Okay, seventy-eight point zero. Yeah, it's right. So I'll just paste it away and submit it directly. I think it should work. There should be no error. I guess yeah, everything is fine. So there's no error. So that's all on my side. Thank you.